I know it's been a while, but I've returned to the stairs back in February. Uh, and it looks like as early as early as not as September of last year we had arrived at this where we got to the code compliance stairs and these were seven and a half these were 15 risers so the riser height was seven and seven sixteenths but the treads were 10 inches at this one here which was the last one we had arrived at before uh, we had a conversation on the phone and my notes on that conversation was that uh, you like the 15 risers, you liked it wider, obviously, code compliant, but, and I have a, had a hard time grasping this, but you didn't perhaps like the right angles. I have written down minus right angles. And I'm not sure exactly, I should have tried to clarify that a little bit more, but I did not. And when I returned to this to begin working on it, I realized that I should have tried to clarify that a little bit more. But as I may recall correctly or incorrectly, we discussed possibly winders. So I wanted to see what I could do with uh, the, this staircase to give it a little more of a flowing kind of feel. Now, I was nearly positive that you weren't talking about a circular staircase, uh, which is possible to do, winding around down like this you can have one of these built, but uh, normally these have this whole area, this whole hallway below is open. So the person can go back here and clean. Now you could have a curved interior wall here, but I don't know what you do on this outside wall here, whether this is a landing or what exactly is happening there as you proceed past these uh, windows. So I didn't review that at all really beyond putting one in there and seeing that there were going to be challenges so when I worked on it in February I renamed this one from September kept it the same and renamed it uh, February 17th to 17 and then began to modify from there and some of this I'm just going to be stream of consciousness practically running through some of these uh, different ways that I arrived at just a single final uh, staircase alteration. But there's a lot that happens, particularly with these windows, and a lot of it's uh, pretty nice in the end. And at least by April, had returned again in April and arrived at a plan that uses winders. Before I arrived at this, and really this is the final plan, the best I can do with what I was working with. But before I arrived at 412C, I tried to make this wall over here further. But because there is a roof up over there and a wall, and you'll see, we'll run through that very briefly, and you'll see what I ran into. I had to revert and leave this wall where it is here uh, and arrive at this plan. This stairway is also code compliant in terms of three feet wide, in terms of everything uh, that has to do with uh, the tread width width and depth. This line here represents a walk line and that's prescribed by code 12 inches from the railing. And these circles are all 11 inch circles. So this uh, winder thing, as we expected, it makes it a little more gentle because now it changes. It's still a seven and a half inch riser, but now the run is 11 inches. And, but my understanding is that no matter what's happening, these winder stairs are probably more dangerous than the angular stairs. Nevertheless, I developed this uh, to the best I could, and I'll show you some of that here. So because there wasn't a lot else to do but this, uh, we didn't have to show a whole bunch of different stairs. It was working out some of the details with this particular stairway. And this can be built probably as inexpensively or as expensively as, as 
and a pre-built stair. If Greg and Kim uh, are too busy or, or not interested any longer, or at least in this portion of it, uh, I do have a craftsperson who definitely will be able to put this together. But since we have to compress all of that length and everything in between this wall, because this wall has to stay here, more or less has to stay here, it is a more clunky arrangement to move that wall, and you'll see a few photographs of it where I just abandoned the effort. So now, you know, you have a little piece of furniture there, and I bet you that's a little wider than 2 foot 11. Uh, but that's what you would have between the wall down there on the first floor and the edge of that stair there and then everywhere else is code compliant and not just code compliant this is exceeds code compliancy because they want uh, three feet at all points above the handrail and that's up in that's where I'm showing three foot five they really only want three foot zero and they need 31 and a half inches inside these railings here and we have 35 as I said I'm just going to run through these in no particular order just and, and really not even comment too much and this shows you where these null posts have to be with this particular railing system and I'm sure somebody could custom build you a steel railing that winds all round down here uh, that could be done I'm positive uh, but I just worked with this system that I know is available Here's where I was trying to make that wider. If you look up here, you see this clunky thing up here at the top. That is the wall that's required to hold the roof upstairs. Uh, hold that roof that faces out toward the road that way. So I eventually, there it is there. And it's that wall there. So we are limited by that. And I didn't want that sort of a situation there. This was the best if we really wanted this stairway here that is a little bit more flowy still that was the best we were going to do but I didn't develop that because I didn't think that was too good up here particularly because we have a window to deal with as well and it's nearly it is code compliant even for the 80 inches uh, but it was just too clunky and so I got away from that all together eventually and this is how it looks up at the top these are just little this is a set of stairs here and a set of stairs here and two or three little platforms custom built platforms I wouldn't have this acute angle coming out here that would be trimmed back like that And now this is what you have. This clunk is necessary. That's that landing that's going up. That little hallway to the stairs. Or the stairs, I guess, themselves. In any event, this is the minimum that you have here. And you are, you have your 80-inch code requirement here uh, from these stair treads. Up there, this is just, how does a person treat that? Up there. And see there's a couple different ways you can do those transitions where they just stop like this and this or they are smooth like this depending on how you want that designed uh, and then there's solving a few issues down at the bottom half Now these begin to show some of these window changes and we'll look at these in elevation view as well but there's a few window changes here if those are replaced I show them you know following the stairs to some extent notice this last one comes down a little bit further even and then the final adjustment of all of these windows and I suppose some people might run some sort of a elaborate trim along here and interface it with crown in this room but I didn't bother trying to put that together and remember this clunk it comes out at this point it only projects into that space four inches and then turns up and goes at an angle and finishes above the window 
This next section is just about adjusting these windows. They are moved from the existing, this is the existing, and they move. And so this is about when those move and are replaced, trying to make those work well with this staircase and to increase their light as well. This is the slope of the new staircase. This is the slope of the old one and that one are the same. And so I was just trying to get, this kind of like a mean line there. And I was trying to make these windows kind of follow that slope of those stairs. And that is where we ended up at the end. That seems the most balanced. And I have them all opening that way and all that breeze coming in. And that is the final sizes all 28 inches wide and this one's 5 foot 4 high 64 inches 4 foot high and 2 foot 8 high and actually on final final thought I increased this by 2 inches make that 66 inches high make these margins a little more even and this margin a little closer to that one as long as I'm coming back here I'll mention uh, that the window change, the window size changes, uh, increase that light area, the glass area, uh, by about 22 percent. In the next section, uh, anything beyond this won't be showing this extra two inch high on this window. This was done just now, and these are views of that same situation with those final kind of windows pulled down as far as I think is practical and you can see that they're shifted over you saw that in the elevations I looked briefly at this uh, to see if you know if, if I thought anything worthwhile could be done maybe looking at that something worthwhile can be done and keep in mind this wall at least this four inches worth coming all the way down has to stay because that's what's supporting all of this but I didn't think of anything right offhand, so I just abandoned it and went back to this. But I will say, I don't know if a person wants to extend these treads, these first treads, or this first tread maybe, and have railing on that side. That's also a possibility. And here's where you can see how your clunk is, which is largely what it is right now, uh, because there's not a lot we can do to... Uh, get rid of that but once you're up in here this window is all in full view and this is how it looks uh, from the outside now if you want a handrail on that side you can see that blue line would be the code required handrail and we go back to the photos for example pipe rail and you can't have a railing on the outside as I showed coming in front of these windows these windows have to be tempered glass by the way uh, but you if you can have a railing on that outside but then it becomes a much more different kind of you're taking your good old time uh, coming along these treads out here at this end here and then I guess these are going to be a few films of uh, walking down through there as it's shown This one was put together to see if it actually could be done, some sort of trim at that ceiling level. And this was the best I managed at this point. So there are just so many different kind of handrails that you can use uh, for this system and it's just a case of is this stairwell stairway getting closer to something you thought might work it does have a spiral feel to it when you look at it 
uh, from this angle and, and from the other one. Anyway, I'm glad I was able to bring another alternative into it. And I liked how this worked out with the windows as well. So let me know, and I will make a few of these alterations at the exterior of the building according to my notes from that conversation. Thanks very much.